kerryrussellformining.com.au. And joining me today is the Managing Director of Aruma Resources, Glenn Grayson. Glenn, it's good to see you again. It is, Shay. It's good to see you. Thank you. Now, I would like to talk about your base metals project because you are out there looking for two bells of the commodity ball right now. That is copper and gold. Tell me, what attracted you to these particular projects? Uh, so the new acquisition, um, two projects in Queensland in the Mount Isa district. Um, really, it was moving uh, towards looking for some new projects. It was long term. What, what are the commodities that we think are going to be really strong? and Short to medium term, um, gold's looking pretty pretty amazing. Um, but longer term, um, as the majors will tell you, that's the copper's looking pretty pretty strong. Uh, maybe we could get into a little bit of the nerdy geology about this. Uh, you know, I know you're a geologist at heart, and geologists yep. really yep. like rocks. What about these particular projects out near the Mount Isa region? Took you out there? Uh, so uh, we a private entity that I came across um, was looking for for someone to explore them. Um, but the, there's two projects. One's called Fiery Creek, about 200 kilometres north of Mount Isa. And it's got the right rocks for a Mount Isa style ore body. And the majors have, have held the ground over the years, uh, for the last 30 years, um, but have done very little work on the ground. Um, in the 90s, MIM or earlier did some, um, some rock chip samples and come up with really good grades of, of copper in, in rock chips and some in a, in a gossinous uh, outcrop with some malachite. Uh, then it wasn't drilled until about 2008 or nine when Sumitomo did some drilling. Um, they got some really good, some some strong grades of copper, but then they didn't didn't uh, explore it any further. Uh, recently, uh, Rio have held it and did didn't do any work on the ground. So for the geology alone, it's really exciting, and it's just really underexplored. Uh, the other project is Bortala. Uh, it's about 80 kilometres north of Mount Isa. It's right adjacent to 29 Metals Copper Corn Project. And um, it hasn't had a drill hole since 1989. Um, been there, I've got, a, I've got a, a bit of outcropping quartz that's got epithermal textures in it that's got some, some copper mineralisation. Uh, so historically, um, Ashton Mining, who were diamond miners and diamond explorers, uh, come across a, a what they thought was a gold target, did a little bit of drilling uh, and come across uh, one hole had 14 metres at 0.3% copper in it. Never reported, never followed up, a bit of lead and zinc in there as well. So even though that's not quite the right rocks, it is in the right kind of structures. Um, so a project in the Mount Isa district that hasn't had a drill hole since 1989 is pretty, pretty exciting as well. Yes, yeah, certainly, especially when it's within a couple of hundred kilometres of excellent infrastructure, should you be able to progress this exploration project to a mine. You don't stumble across that every day. No, no. And the Queensland government are really pushing to get explorers back in and doing what we do. So Mount Isa District, there's no there, the, there's a moratorium on tenement holding costs that the government have placed uh, for five years. But they're also spending a lot of money on getting some high voltage power into into the district as well. So they're really pro industry and keeping the Mount Isa area alive. Uh, so for for guys or for companies like Aruma that are you know we're not looking for a 50 million ton Mount Isa or body, we're looking for something like a a five to 10 million ton. It's pretty exciting. Uh, it sounds like favourable conditions and also there's going to be great news ahead if it hasn't been explored in the past 30 years. Uh, tell me, how can investors learn more about this story? Uh, so I'll be releasing some news next week on, on Bartola, um, but I'll be at the Investor Showcase uh, conference next week on the Gold Coast as well. So if you're in the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, come down to the Marriott. Uh, and tell me, so everybody's got a reason to stop by your booth. Will you have rock samples that we can touch and play with? I'll have a couple of rocks there, yes. <laughs> Always got to go to the booths with the rocks. Uh, yep. Listen, Glenn, thank you so much for today's chat. Uh, anybody who's watched these shows before knows I love a base metals project. I can't wait yeah. to see what comes next for a rumour. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Joe. If you want to secure your ticket to the Gold Coast Investment Showcase starting next Wednesday, the 19th of June, head to mining.com.au Click on the events tab and register your details there.